Hello everyone and welcome to this quick video about a recent Google Workspace update that involved a new interface for Google Vault. So on Thursday, December 3rd, Google has actually posted this blog about the change to Google Vault interface and this is a very interesting change actually. Google Vault has been around for a very long time now and its interface I believe is is one of the latest services to have a complete change and to comp to have a complete design actually. If you recall the interface for Google Vault looks like this, <laughs> which is a very old style and not really in line with the new style and the how, how the services that appear actually and how the other services look in these days in Google Workspace. So you will notice this banner about the new uh, interface and the new, new improved experience and it gives you the option to try it now. Now just before I click this button I just want to guide you through that post and to show you the changes that happen to the interface. So if you scroll down a little bit you will find some notes about some behavior changes in the new interface. So depending on the permissions now you will be seeing one of the three pages or actually you'll see either of these so you can either see retentions and matters and reports or only one of them and you can actually set the retention rules in a better way and more friendly way actually and same goes for the custom retention rules and then the search results and all of that so you get better actually better looking interface and some behavior changes in terms of what you see in the home page and all of that now the actual changes are outlined here. So this is the home page. You see the three buttons or the three options and this is the retention, the custom retention rules page. And this is also the rules, the retention rules. This is how they look now, which is more friendly, actually way more than it was before. So just to give you a hands-on experience on this, I'll click the try now. It's going to take me to the new interface. Now, if you notice the URL is vault.google.com, the old interface is ediscovery.google.com. So also they're changing the URL here, which is very nice and much easier. Now it's just vault, a few letters before you had to type a long word with a possibility to typos, to have typos and mistakes and all of that. <laughs> so now it's much more in line with the other services. It's just called vault, similar to gmail.google or mail.google.com and drive.google.com and now it's vault.google.com. So these are the three buttons or the three pages, retention matters and reports. In this, same goes, nothing special. <laughs> so first of all, if I go to the retention, you see the retention, the default retention rules, and they are all set to be on indefinitely. Now you can delete this rule. Actually, I don't want to delete it for Gmail. Let me delete it for Drive. <laughs> you delete this rule. And then it will tell you it's not configured and all of that. So you click it and then it will ask you how long you want the retention to work. So it's either indefinitely or a specific retention period. So you set it by days, let's say 10 days and from the date created, of course, or whatever date modified. Then these are the options where you get more details and more friendly tooltips and all of that. So this is much more friendly and much more easier for anyone to work with and to understand what's going on before it was a little bit miss actually. So if I go to the retention, there is no way to compare between this and the other new interface. So I'm just clicking create on this indefinitely for Google Drive. Then I will take you to the custom rules. In the custom rules, again, you just click create. And you select the service type, it's whether it's Gmail, Drive, Groups, Chat, and Meet. Now, it, I think the most common are the Gmail and Drive. Then you set the retention period or before the retention period, you choose what OU that you want to enforce this rule on. So let's say that you want to do it on the CEO office, for example. I don't know why, but I just love to mess with the CEO office. Then you set the retention rule conditions. Now, if you want to affect all of the emails, you can just leave the date sent blank or something. If you want to affect specific emails after a specific date, sent after a specific date to be more clear, then you can just add a date here and everything that's sent from seven and after will be affected by this retention rule. And then you can actually 
add terms and search and this actually these are the operators that same operators that you use in gmail so for example you type has attachment so all of the emails with attachments that are sent after a specific date or actually all of the emails with attachments now are going to be affected by this you can also do it by label for example preserve so any email with the label preserve will be affected by this retention rule so the next is the duration so here you can set the duration and the action so it's indefinitely or you set it for a specific retention period then you set the days and then you set the action now the again the nice thing about this one is each option has a nice tool tip in front of it that will explain what is this action and what's going to happen with this action so you don't choose the wrong action by mistake and mess things up for your organization and your users so matters is where you actually do the search so i have a specific matter in here you can now actually filter the matters by the status so you have the active matters the closed matters I'm not sure if i have any or the deleted matters i don't have any as well so as you know in google vault there is no permanently delete matter you just close it and then delete it it will go to the deleted you, you cannot permanently delete a matter but you can if you are a super admin you can view other matters so you can filter by view uh, owned by everyone or owned by me or shared with me if you want to have that detailed view so if creating a matter is very easy you just type the name and the description and it will give you the same item that that that's available here and you can go inside the matter to perform a search and the search is again you search by service so let's say we want to search in gmail and we want to search in all of the data and let's set a specific account and let's say we want to search in the ceo i'm not sure if i have the ceo <laughs> or the gm <laughs> and then you actually set the time zone for your date and time if you want to search by specific date and time and actually it's just date so if you want to search by a specific date you'll do it then the terms so if you want to search by a specific label or from a specific sender or from whatever you will just be able to do it the exact way that you would do in gmail in the normal gmail now again they have you have the options to count and export the result if you don't if you don't want to view the result if you just want to export it you can do it immediately in here and you can save the search for later reuse and of course you can share the matter with someone else that want to work on this now again same goes for the sorry let me stop this i thought this was cancelled but anyways so you go to hold you create the hold and the same way it's the same interface almost you create the hold name and then you move to the next card to define the scoop and create it in a very nice and friendly way now the exports again are listed in here so as you see the interface is actually similar to what we have in the other google workspace services and interfaces which is much more streamlined now this is actually more in line with the admin console so you don't get to see a different interface such as this abomination here <laughs> and you get to see now something familiar same style as the admin console and even same navigation options and all of that so I just wanted to show you the new interface for Google Vault. This is very nice change and this is a very great change actually. It, it needed to be done since a while. Google Vault has been around for a while and it needed to have this interface change because it's a very critical service that everything in the controls should be clear. Anyone who's using that should be aware about what is he doing because if you do something wrong there you'll just mess up everything it will be a very bad situation for the organization if you cause some data loss and even for you if you cause some data loss by selecting the wrong action and the wrong uh, condition let's say to affect emails especially if you're doing a uh, hold and retention rules if you don't exactly know what's going on and what are the options, what actions are going to happen with each option then this is really bad so with this now it's much more clear much more user friendly hopefully this will help a lot of you actually to get around in google vault if you're having issues with the old interface you should actually be seeing this new button here so if you go to ediscovery.google.com or actually just go to vault.google.com you should see the new interface immediately otherwise you click this one it will take you to the new interface 
so that's all what I wanted to share. I will leave the link to vault2google.com in the video description and I will also leave the link to this article in the video description so that you can check it out and read the content. This is a very important read that you really need to read it and be aware about all of the content in this one, especially these behavior changes. So if you have any question or if you have any comment about this, please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section. Also, please like the video and subscribe and click that bell button. It, hel it helps me a lot, really. And if you want to see more or if you want to get more stuff about Google Workspace and about G Suite, then you can check out my course on Udemy, Google Workspace, the complete admin guide. This is going to be a about 28 hours of content, actually. It's going to start with you from the very beginning and it's going to give you all of the concepts and all of the tools and the information that you need to daily manage your G Suite and your Google Workspace account and even prepare for the collaboration engineer exam, Google Cloud Professional Collaboration Engineer. So check it out. You can see the link in the video description, which is going to give you a discount price. And also there is a 30 days money back guarantee from Udemy. So if you don't like what you see or if that was not the style that you're looking for for the training, you can always request a refund from Udemy. And at the end, thanks a lot for your time and thank you for viewing. I'll see you in another video.